When a car's radiator is not circulating properly, and you're finding the top hose hot while the bottom hose remains cold, you're staring down the barrel of a cooling system problem that needs immediate attention. Let's break it down. The radiator is the heart of your car's cooling system, designed to keep the engine from overheating and literally blowing its top. It works by transferring the heat from the coolant, which circulates through the engine, into the air. The coolant absorbs engine heat, then passes through the radiator where it loses heat to the ambient air. This process is crucial for engine health, performance, and longevity. Now, onto the symptoms you described. A hot upper hose and a cold lower hose. 1. Blocked radiator. Over time, radiators can accumulate deposits from coolant or from the internal rusting of the cooling system components. This can create a blockage, preventing the coolant from passing through the radiator efficiently. When the bottom hose is cold, it suggests that the coolant isn't being cycled through the radiator as it should be. This means the heat isn't being dissipated, putting your engine at risk of overheating. 2. Thermostat failure. The thermostat in your car acts as a gatekeeper, regulating the flow of coolant to the radiator based on the engine temperature. If it's stuck closed, coolant can't circulate properly through the engine and radiator, which might explain the discrepancy in hose temperatures. Normally, the thermostat opens to allow coolant to pass when the engine reaches operating temperature, promoting circulation between the engine and the radiator. A failed thermostat is effectively a closed door to the radiator. 3. Water pump issues. The water pump propels coolant throughout the system. If it's faulty or failing, your coolant won't circulate properly. Insufficient circulation can lead to the top hose getting hot because it's near the engine, while the bottom stays cold due to lack of flow. 4. Air in the cooling system. Air pockets in the cooling system can also hinder circulation. These air pockets can cause hot spots in the engine and cooling system, leading to the situation you're describing. Bleeding the system of air can resolve this issue. Solving the problem. Each of these issues has its own method of diagnosis and repair. For blockages, a radiator flush might be necessary to clear out the debris and deposits that are hampering flow. A stuck thermostat needs to be replaced. Water pump issues can range from a simple seal replacement to a complete pump replacement. And to remove air from the system, a process called bleeding the radiator is used. Given the complexity of these systems and the importance of a properly functioning cooling system, it's often best to consult with a professional mechanic. They can provide a thorough diagnosis and ensure the correct repairs are made. As for me, living in Portland, Oregon with its fair share of both wet and dry, hot and cold periods, keeping your vehicle's cooling system in top-notch condition is crucial not just for the longevity of the car, but for safety and optimal performance in our varied climate. Regular maintenance checks and addressing issues like these promptly can save a lot of time, money, and headaches down the road.